In this video, we will be discussing, I will be discussing some examples uh, in elimination of arbitrary constants. So, our first example, we have y is equal to a plus b e raised to x. We have two arbitrary constants, a and b, so meaning to say, we will take up to the second derivative of y with respect to x. So, let's go ahead and take the derivative. y prime would be equal to a is a constant, so the derivative is, is uh, 0. And then negative 4, b, e raised to negative 4x. Second derivative, y double prime is equal to 16b, e raised to negative 4x. So we now have three equations. Equation 1, that's our given. Equation 2, our first derivative, and equation 3, our second derivative. So, here we can clearly see that for us to eliminate, the first derivative already eliminate, eliminated A. So, our problem now is how to eliminate B. So, we can clearly see that if we multiply 4 to equation 2, we can add the 2 together and already eliminate b. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Multiplying 4 to equation 2 will yield 4y prime is equal to negative 16b e raised to negative 4x. We add that to our equation 3. y double prime is equal to 16b e raised to negative 4x. So, this term cancels out from adding, and we now have y double prime plus 4y prime is equal to 0 as the differential equation that we are looking for. That is our final answer. Let's go to the next problem. Next problem we have y is equal to ae raised to 2x b e raised to 3x. So again, we have two arbitrary constants, a and b. Let's go ahead and get the first derivative. y prime is equal to 2a e raised to 2x plus 3b e raised to 3x. Let's get the second derivative. y double prime is equal to 4a e raised to 2x plus 9b e raised to 3x. So we now have again three equations. These are, are given as equation 1. This is equation 2. And this is the second derivative, our equation 3. So what we can do here is uh, we can multiply negative 2 to equation 1 so that we could eliminate a. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Multiplying negative 2 to equation 1 will yield negative 2y is equal to negative 2a e raised to 2x minus 2b e raised to 3x. Let's go ahead and add that to our equation 2. Equation 2 is y prime is equal to 2a e raised to 2x plus 3b e raised to 3x. Okay, so adding will eliminate this part of the equation. And what we now have is y prime minus 2y is equal to b e raised to 3x. This will now be our equation 4. So, let's go ahead and make another equation, eliminating A. There are a variety of ways to do this, no? And uh, this is just uh, my own way. But you could uh, eliminate, let's say you could eliminate A using equation 1 and equation, uh, equation 1 and equation 3. Or you could eliminate A using equation 2 and equation 3. The goal is to eliminate A 
so that you could produce an equation, equation 5, which is just, uh, just uh, with the variable or uh, just with the constant b. Okay, not the variable, just with the constant p. So let's say I use equation 2 and equation 3. I will multiply negative 2 to equation number 2. The goal is so that I could eliminate it when I add the resulting equation to equation 3. So our equation 2 multiplied by negative 2 will now be negative 2y prime is equal to negative 4a e raised to 2x minus 6b e raised to 3x. Let's go ahead and add that to our equation 3. y double prime is equal to 4a e raised to 2x plus 9b e raised to 3x. So a, this one cancels out. We now have y double prime minus 2y prime is equal to 3b e raised to 3x. Okay, so we now have our equation number 5. As I've said, observe equation number 4 and by observation, we will simply multiply equation 4 by negative 3 okay so that if we add that to our equation 5 b will cancel out so let's go ahead and do that multiplying negative 3 to equation 4 so it will yield negative 3 y prime plus 6 y is equal to negative 3 b a raised to 3 x Let's go ahead and add our equation number 5. y double prime minus 2y prime is equal to 3b e raised to 3x. So these terms cancels out when adding. And we will now have y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y is equal to 0. So this is the differential equation that we are actually looking for. That is our final answer. Let's continue with our final example. Final example is y x squared is equal to 1 plus cx. As you can see here, the difference is in our previous two examples, we are deriving we are deriving a y as a function of x type of uh, equation. Here, uh, this is not necessarily a uh, y as a function of x, but instead this is uh, in the implicit form. So let's uh, go ahead and derive using the rules for implicit differentiation. So this is a product y and x squared so let's get the derivative of y with respect to x huh? so y then uh, y derivative of x squared is 2x and then plus x squared derivative of y with respect to x is y prime is equal to derivative of 1 is 0 and then derivative of cx is simply c okay so 2xy plus x squared y prime is equal to c. Since we only have a single arbitrary constant, therefore y prime will suffice. Uh, getting the first derivative is already sufficient. This is our equation 1. Okay. The given is our equation 1. And this is our equation 2. This is already equal to c, and what we could do is substitute uh, this equation, or c, to equation 1. We will simply substitute. Okay? 
So let's go ahead and substitute equation number 2 to equation number 1. So it will yield, let's say, x squared y is equal to 1 plus x times 2xy plus x squared y prime. Okay? So all we need to do now is uh, simplify x squared y is equal to 1 plus 2x squared y plus x cubed y prime. Let's equate it to 0. x cubed y prime plus 2x squared y minus x squared y plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have uh, like terms here. We will simply do some algebra and we will now have our final answer x cubed y, x cubed y prime plus x squared y plus 1 is equal to 0. So that is the differential equation that we are looking for free of the arbitrary constant C.